When it comes to achieving something, anything, whether it's business, fitness, health, there's always two ways to look at anything. The first method is what I would say is the majority of how many people think. They look at something, they say, being a millionaire, let's take that for example. People say the odds of being a millionaire in the US is approximately, I don't know the exact number, but I'm guessing 200 to one, okay? Which is, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's 0.5% chance. Now, if you really think about it, odds of being a millionaire, that's slim. But here's what most people say. Most people would say that because the chance is slim, therefore it would be unlikely for them to actually do anything about it. Same thing with being fit, same thing with getting six pack abs, same thing with, with pretty much anything, same thing with publishing a book, same thing with speaking, right? The odds of being a top 1%, it would be low. And if that is your train of thought, is that's your mindset, that is gonna create your belief around it. That because the odds are low, it's going to be tough and it's not for me, therefore chances are, it's not gonna be likely for me to achieve it. Therefore, because it shapes my belief around it and therefore my actions will be limited because of that belief. Now that's the first train of thought. On the other end of the spectrum, it would be this. It would be, because there's somebody that's done it before, I know that it's possible. The only question is, how can I be number two? How can I make that happen because somebody else has made that happen? If you really think about it, when it comes to anything, let's take being a millionaire as the example. Those will be the two thoughts that will shape the outcome of your decisions on what actions that you actually take. Because if you are thinking about how the odds are low, it's extremely tough, and therefore it's unlikely that it's gonna happen for you. And I know this sounds cheesy, right? It sounds like, oh, believe and you will achieve kind of stuff. But if you really think about it, that belief will shape the action steps you make. However, the belief of, because someone else is a millionaire and if this person do it, did it, what did this person do so that I can become number two, the next person that does it as well? So at the end of the day, I want you to be aware of these two differences in thinking. Because how you think will determine your action steps, your thoughts, and that will determine your outcome.